Hi everyone, uh, now I'm going to go over the random function in Excel. What the random function will do is every time it's run, it will c pick a number between 0 and 1. See, we can put it in here. This, this is all you have to do is it's equals rand, and then two parentheses, you press enter, and there it, do it goes, 0.93, and it, it'll keep going. And then I can press the delete key, and it's going to keep changing. So this is great for, for picking a random number, but you want to you need to do more to it to if you want to manipulate it to get more data. So what we're going to do, say we want to get a whole number between whatever, 0 and, uh, say, 10. What we can do, we can take this function rand to multiply by a number, say by 10. So now we have a greater number. So it's going to be a number that's greater than, it'll be between, be between 0 and 10. We keep pressing delete. And it's going to keep showing up as, uh, as a number between 1 and 10. You can also make this kind of dynamic for the user, where if you want to, instead of, say, times 10, you can multiply it by a certain cell, say, times this cell, A1. So now it takes the random and then multiplies by this. So you can have a number between 1 and 5, you can have it between 1 and 10, which would be 3. You can have it between 1 and 1,000, depending on what you're looking for, that's 880. And another function you can use is the roundup function. This function is, will take this number and it, you can round it, because you don't always want to get all these decimal places after. So if you use the roundup function, it's going to give you a number, it'll round up. So if it's less than 1, it's going to be give you a number then between 1 and, in this case, 1,000. So what we're going to do, we already built the random function, so we're going to type in round up, parentheses, and then we got, here's our random part, and then how many decimal places do you want? In this case, we'll do 0. So it'll just be a whole number. We press enter, and now we got 288. I can, I can keep pressing the delete key, and it's going to keep giving me a whole number between one and a thousand. If you use just the round function instead of round up, then it's then it's possible you could get between zero, between zero and a thousand. So it, it depends what you're looking for. But this formula, round up. Here's the random function, and how and how many decimals? If you want to have one decimal, you can just change this to one or whatever you need. And that's a quick way to get a random whole number. We can also use the random function to pull in a range and give us a, to pull in a result. Say we have this list of states here. This is just a nice and simple five states. And say we want to create a function that will randomly pull one of these five. We'll, we'll, we'll do this in three steps. We're going to first start by building the uh, the random part. So we need to basically get a number between 1 and 5. So we're going to do insert rand, so there's the random, times, we could put the number 5, and then it'll just give us, say, a number between 0 and 1, and then if we do this again, press delete, it'll give us a number between 1 and 5, or 0 and 5 in this case. However, we don't always know how many cells are, are going to have records, it could be, could we could add to this, and then we, we won't, then we would have to manually change this 5, so we can insert a function here called count A, and in this case it'll just count how many cells have data in it. So it's still, it's going to count this, and you see there's 5 here, and it's going to still give you a number between 1 and 5, or in 0 and 5 in this case, but if we insert like we did in the previous example, round up. So here we can do round up, parentheses, we got the random part, comma zero. Now it's going to give us a whole number. We want to do round up because we don't want zero to come up. Because we're going to use a VLOOKUP to pull in this information. And if it comes up zero, it's not going to find anything. So that's why we want to do round up. So now it's going to give us a number between one and five in this case. So I can keep pressing delete, and it's going to keep giving us a number between 1 and 5 randomly. 
so now we've, we've built, we've got the whole number part, so now we just need to build the VLOOKUP. So the VLOOKUP will, will take this number, say one here, it's gonna go in here and then do a VLOOKUP and pull in NY from New York. So let's insert the VLOOKUP function. So it's gonna look up, in this case, one, comma, we're gonna look in these cells, in this table, I mean, we're gonna pull the second field, and we're gonna use false so we get an exact match. Press enter, and it brings us New York. We can press delete, now it's West Virginia. So it must have done a random number and pulled five. Does a V lookup and it'll pull five. So you can keep pressing delete, or you can assign a, a macro to this, and every time you press the macro button, this will change, or how, however else you need to do it it'll keep changing and you'll keep having a new random number and a new state.